Kelly from Memory Bound in Ankeny, Iowa. I'm going to show you a project for a way to display your photos so that you can enjoy them. We have all these crates from Seven Gypsies. I decided to gather up all the wedding pictures from my family and I've got them all in this crate and they're all documented with a year. I've got some general things that just talk about a little a little envelope there with a poem. Um, you can tell that's a really old one. A little glassine envelope with a photo on the front. It's our daughter's wedding. I've got a letter G. I've got a picture from our son's wedding. And what I really love is I have all the dates. So everything is documented. Got my parents, um, great grandparents. And these are photos that I printed in sepia. I've got things like tags. And this shows the, my favorite things about wedding. Got lots of little things in here, and I keep this out on a table. So you can see how fun it is just to have all these pictures together. Our family, it's great memories, it's our heritage. I'm saving stories for the past, and you might even recognize this one here. So that was my wedding project, where I could get all of my family wedding pictures together in one place, set them out, and enjoy them. So we've got die cuts with pictures on them. I've got a diet, little gingerbread that opens up. Tags are wonderful for putting on here. Here's a couple die cuts with some photos. Um, and I have just photos, but a lot of my pictures I've added little um, ephemera to. And you can just see how fun it is that when you look through here, there's just all kinds of stuff. And a lot of these are from cut apart papers like this ephemera. So there's not a lot of trickiness or designing to do. I can add more pictures as years go by or add more pictures from this holiday and this becomes a holiday decoration. And you can decorate the front, you can leave it plain, you could take everything out and replace it with Halloween or another season and just keep the same crate. There's a smaller version and then a larger version. Okay, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make one and Bonnie loaned me some vacation pictures. The best thing to do is to gather up die cuts, your pictures, some tags, maybe envelopes, anything you wanna use. And I also picked out a couple papers. I thought these looked really well together. It's not a cut apart paper, but I'm gonna start out by cutting it into four inch strips. I already have two inserts for my crate. I've cut my paper up into some nice sized pieces that are going to fit really well in my crate. I've got my pictures and I've got some tags. and attach a photo right to this. I just, I just attached that picture right to this fence and that's going to be one of my pieces in my crate. I've attached a photo to this tag. I've got a little fish die cut and I have a little tiny picture here I'm going to put, put that in my crate. I love using tags because I can put my photo on here and then I have room to journal right below it. Or on, the, or on the back. Or you can add just a picture by itself. Okay, there's a little sheet with a die cut and a photo. We'll put that in the back. Here's a piece that we put our picture on, we folded the top over, and I'm gonna add a palm leaf because I think palm leaves are pretty fun. Put that back here. Got another fish we'll put in. Sometimes you can just add your picture right to your die cut. Just get as creative as you like. You to add things. This one we made a pocket so we could put something in there, maybe, maybe a secret message. Well, we've got a lot of pieces here that we've added. Put a little palm leaf on the front and we've got a cute little decorative item that we can put out and enjoy our photos, share them with our family and friends and have our stories a little more visible. Okay, so we showed you a wedding idea. We've got a vacation idea, a Christmas idea. Think of all the other ideas you could make with these crates. You take a Disney trip, pick out some of your favorite pictures. We've got these cut aparts that would make it so easy to put together. One for a pet, even a gift for somebody. We've got this collection called Best Dog Ever, and you could cut these apart. There's a die cut that would be really neat to add with it. What about a winter one? Maybe the going on a ski trip or the kids playing out in the snow. Maybe do it for a little dancer and you could add some die cuts like these. We've got cut aparts. I think that would look really nice in a white or black crate. A family one would be very nice and make a very special gift, especially for um, a long distance relative, somebody in a care facility so they could look at their family pictures 
and these would be really beautiful colors. You would just cut them apart, stick them in with some tags and some family pictures. So I hope today you've been inspired to get out some pictures, decide what project you want to make, pick out the size of crate that you want to use, and come in and get some papers and some die cuts and be creative and make something special with your photos. Have a creative day and thanks for joining us.